Although I'm from Thailand, I've never really visited many beaches or islands here. I took the chance to explore my home country a little more in order to finally visit one of Thailand's most popular attractions. It was my first time in Grebi. Of course, I had to start off my trip with food. Nam restaurant serves up delicious local Thai and southern Thai cuisine. We stayed in Ao Nang. So the first stop was Ao Nang Beach. As we kept walking towards the limestone cliffs, we took a walking trail that somehow led to a secluded beach in front of Santara Grand Beach Resort, just in time to see the sunset. Johnny's Pizza is a cozy Italian restaurant serving up pizzas and pastas that I still crave up until today. The next morning, I had booked a long tail boat tour to several different islands. The first stop was Got Hong. Famous for its vast limestone cliffs and powdered sand beaches, we took the stairs up to the 360 viewpoint, which took way longer than I had expected. So if you don't have much time on your hands, snorkeling by the beach might be the better option. As we reached the top, just the view itself had made me forget the amount of steps I had to climb. I really wish I had more time here. Sailing through the narrow rock opening, we reached Hong Lagoon, a shallow natural emerald pool surrounded by limestone cliffs, perfect for snorkeling. Next, we visited Got Lao Lading, nicknamed Paradise Island. It has a beautiful secluded beach, lush greenery, limestone caves, and clear waters. As the rain couldn't hold back any longer, we weren't able to visit the last island on our tour, but ended up rerouting to Rai Lei Beach only accessible by boat. Unless you're staying at the Rayawadi Resort, you'll have to take a 15-minute walk to Raleigh East from where the boats drop you off in order to reach Pranang Cave. Locals visit this cave for worship, especially when wishing for fertility. It is also the perfect spot for rock climbing. Since I was short on time, I spent the rest of my time there exploring the caves, which was one of the best sights I've ever seen in Thailand. We had a Southern Thai dinner at Ruan Mai restaurant. Followed by decadent desserts at Jenna's Bistro and Wine. We spent the next day trying out different cafes and restaurants in town. First stop was Attitude Coffee Camp, an ambient cafe serving up great coffee and pastries in the middle of a rubber tree plantation. I would suggest going on a sunny day as there could be mosquitoes on more humid days. We drove into town for lunch at Rasharot Dim Sum. Opening from the morning and onwards, this is a local spot serving up a variety of dim sum, local food and drinks. before stopping by Much and Mellow for yet another cup of coffee. Next stop was Klong Ru, a flooded forest floor of a rubber tree plantation that somehow started to fill up with aquatic plants. We rented a kayak and struggled our way to Klong Nam Sai, a crystal clear freshwater lagoon. We then made our way to Noparat Tara Beach that was not too far of a drive away. We also stopped for a snack break before making our way in. At Noparat Tara is the beach located adjacent to Ao Nam, known for its scenic walk to reach nearby islands during low tide. We were lucky enough to witness the separated sea in the afternoon, locally called Talewe. It was one thing I finally ticked off my bucket list.
On the way back to Ao Nang, we stopped by Tong Yip Tong Yacht Cafe, a cafe serving up ice cream and traditional Thai desserts, before ending our trip with a scenic drive. Another place I visited was Gok Samui, after coming across a great hotel deal last year. First stop was Summer by Coco Tams, a perfect place for coffee and brunch by the beach. We rented a jeep and drove to our first location, the Overlap Stone, one of the most unique viewpoints in Gok Samui. A short drive away stands Hin Ta Hin Yai, a beach with giant rock formations you'll have to see for yourself. Next was a visit to a secluded waterfall underneath a treetop cafe. Although it was difficult to get there, we practically had the whole place to ourselves. Wat Prat Yai, translating to the Big Buddha, is one of Samui's most iconic locations. Sitting on the northeastern corner of Got Samui, it has a panoramic view of the island once you reach the top. Seeing all these places, I can't help but question why I didn't visit them sooner, even when they're so close by.